guys, so before we get into cozy reading night, I wanted to share another petition with you today, so not a charity but a petition, and it's for Dr. Amad Reza Jalali, who is currently imprisoned in Iran. Uh, he's a Swedish Iranian doctor and he's been sentenced to death and they are supposed to execute him within the next days. Uh, there already have been international calls to prevent his execution, which was supposed to take place on the 1st of December and that worked out and they postponed it. So please um, check out the petition and sign it. Uh, the website is in German, but you can click on the petition and say that you want the English version. So uh, it is available in English. And that's all I wanted to say about that. So uh, on we go with Cozy Reading Night. Hi guys and welcome to Vlogmas Day 5, I think this is. Um, tonight's the Cozy Reading Night as I'm filming this, Friday. And in Germany it's a quarter to eight now, so the reading, because your reading night starts at quarter to seven uh, UK time. Um, so that will be in a little less than 15 minutes. And so I thought I would start cozy reading night, not by reading, but by baking some Christmas cookies. Um, so <laughs> I have everything set up. So I thought I would try to, to film the process. Um, I needed almonds. I didn't really... I kind of forgot buying almonds and, and I have some but I still have to ground them now. So uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes and um, I will check in with you again I guess when the cozy waiting night starts and until then you will see some bacon. <laughs>
Okay, so the baking is finished. The dough needs to stay in the refrigerator for I think 15 minutes or so. So I will make some cookies later so there will be more footage of that. Um, but it is 10 past 8 German time, so Cozy Reading Night has officially started in the UK. I haven't seen the live stream yet, so I'm assuming it's going to be up soon. Uh, but uh, I've already told you what I'm reading, but Anja is also joining me for Cozy Reading Night, so he can tell you what he's going to be reading. Yes, I'm going to be reading King Richard III by a certain William Shakespeare. Um, I'll be teaching that in a class of mine very soon so I'm about to reread this or I'm actually I am already rereading this play I'm in act three and yeah I'm a bit tired but I'll see how far along I'll get tonight. This cozy reading night might end up with a sleeping down here so we'll see how that it goes. Might. But yeah I've got my books ready um, I showed those to you yesterday in my TBR so if you didn't see that you can check that out if you want to <laughs> and we'll just get reading. so far um, I just heated up <laughs> I heated some tea up for myself uh, which was actually my Christmas calendar that I got from Daniel and you got yourself a beer <laughs> yes uh, which was in my Christmas calendar which I got from Madeline I think I have to hold this, that high for that's true see. I'm not sure so. yeah so <laughs> this is a very special beer from Angola and now if you hold it up close it's not gonna focus because the focus oh. is here so <laughs> okay so this is let's try again this is some beer from Angola I don't know if you can see it or not but if not you just have to uh, trust it's, me on it's it. a black black beer do you say that in English um, dark, dark beer, beer, it's a dark I think, beer but, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah you can try yeah. it and tell us I if it's, it's a bit stronger you might have to hold it up higher I'm not mm -hmm. sure mm -hmm. what the camera mm -hmm. is focusing on <laughs> Is this promotion of alcohol now? Is it <laughs> Probably is, but you know, at this point, I don't care. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, you want to have the first sip because you can have the... Okay, so it is Daniel's Christmas calendar, but I can't have any bubbles. So the only thing that I can try is the foam. Because that's not as bubbly. Yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cheers. So that's why I got the first taste. Yeah, it's fruity a little bit. Isn't it? <laughs> so um, yeah, I, I haven't read that many pages yet, but we both realized that uh, despite that, our books have been quite action-packed so far. So for me, um, Satan has entered paradise, so um, things are about to happen, and you've already had a beheading. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shall I read the scene? Uh, if you no. want to, you can... Well, it was just a bit funny because it was... Um... But you would just want to tell it, though. Yeah, well, it was just um, just Richard talking to this guy, and um, 
actually I think everything was quite alright but then um, uh, this other guy said if they have done this deed my noble lord you know nothing going wrong there and then all of a sudden Richard is like if though protector of this damned trumpet talks though to me of ifs thou art a traitor off with his head and I was just like that escalated quickly it, it did yeah. <laughs> so yeah uh, I think we get back to our books mm -hmm. and see if there's any more beheadings for you uh, probably and I'll see what uh, Satan is getting up to in paradise, presumably tempting Adam and Eve. Uh, not, sh not much of a spoilery story there. Sure, sure. Uh, but yeah, see you later. It's no longer cozy reading night. Um, I don't know if I've inserted the clip. I will show it to Daniel first and ask him if I can. But if I did insert it, you will know that Daniel fell asleep. So I sent him to bed at 10 o'clock German time. So that was 9 o'clock in the UK. And I went a little further on my own and then I also finished the Christmas cookies. I I think I have some clips of those and so yeah I read all <laughs> together uh, just about 12 pages of Paradise Lost it is slow going but I'm still enjoying it and then I read a little bit more of Alias Grace at the end of the night because I was getting kind of tired and it was a bit difficult focusing on Paradise Lost but this is sort of more easy reading if you will and uh, it doesn't really make sense to talk about what I read because it's so far into the book but I will just say that um, Grace, um, the main character, she's just had an a surprising encounter uh, both for her and uh, for me as a reader. I didn't uh, think that that character would uh, come up so um, that was interesting. And then I do have a box of cookies here so um, they are all covered in powdery sugar. Um, they are, I, I don't know if I said this, they're called Vanilla Kipfer, um, and they, are t they turned out fine, they're a little bit, they were a bit too long in the oven, uh, but they're still nice, so we'll have uh, something to snack on for the next uh, few days, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, 5% of alcohol, which I think is rather strong for a beer. Is um, it? I thought that's like I mean, average. No, is it? I think average is more like 4 I think there's one in the calendar that has like elf. Uh, uh, elf. We talked about this in class elf.
what I meant to say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think there's one on the calendar that has like 11 or 12%, so I think that's very high for That is strong, yeah. 